I'm sure these extension rods are uh, commercially available for reamers, taps, etc. But what I noticed, I had my standard M12 tap, just happened to be the same uh, cross section as the reamer. So, found a bit of scrap bar that I had. I'm sure uh, extension pieces are commercially available for reamers, taps, etc. But I didn't have one to hand. So rather than just buying one, I made one. Um, a bit of scrap bar just happens to be of a gear stick of a car. So, uh, mild steel. So what I did is, the same 12 tap that I had just happens to be the same uh, measurement across the flats as the reamer. So I used this to help me make this. So if I take a look at the end of this, the square end. Um, what I did is I took the, I think it was a 9mm drill bit, drilled up about 15mm into that. And then, of course, that gives me a round hole. So I took my oxyacetylene set then, uh, heated it glowing red, into the anvil, bashed it with a hammer, bashed it with a hammer, bashed it with the target until I got a nice square. Then heated up red hot again. And what I did is I just tapped this in with a hammer, not physically tapped, but walloped it in with a hammer. And I've been here, and that actually did give it a little wiggle when it was still red hot and it could pull out and in so so you'll see that's how I finished it there but because there's not an awful lot of meat across the flat here I then took my MIG welder and welded excess metal back onto here I did this side as well just for a bit of strength then turned it down in the lathe and then drilled this out and put a grub screw in, so it's an M4 grub screw, so I drilled it out to 3.3 millimetres, uh, tapped it out. Um, what I did with the reamer is, just to give the grub screw a bit more bite, is I took a chunk off it and put ground a flat in it, so you'll see the little mark where the grub screw is just catching it there. So you think that's fine, but what it does is it, it's ever so slightly off the angle because it's not really held in great. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn down because the grub screw when it's in goes just past the flush and made sure it does, hence why I ground a bit of this away. Um, yeah, so it's ever so slightly off the angle. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a sleeve that slips over here and the reamer so it holds them all perfect. This came in at, I think it's 8. 7 mil. I've got an 8.6 mil tap so I can then take the boring bar out here and then I'll just do the same. This was about 12 mil so I'll just take a 12 mil drill then again boring bar in. So to stop that flopping about then after I've made it what I'll do is I'll tack weld it on there and there just so it holds everything central so I can then uh, drill a hole in the little sleeve in line with this grub screw so I can take it out afterwards and that will hopefully stop me going off at an angle and finally I'll weld this is a little t-piece not with this but a little bit of bar so I can hand dream when I'm going up and down the cannon bore so with this here I can slacken this off to move it up as I'm reaming I'll slowly move this further up and because when you move this up here, there's a small section of the bore is not going to get reamed out. So what I'll do is I'll use this as a sacrificial one. I'll cut the excess bar, the threaded bar, off the end. And I might trim a bit off the end of this as well. So I can ream right to the bottom of the bore. Or as far as I can with this anyway. Reamer complete. So the sleeve that I made, didn't have to tack it on the end um, because it was quite a good fit when I turned it all out. So for this part of the bar stock and the reamer, they both fit in quite well. You'll see the holes, so one for the grub screw and one I drilled just to help me line up the slot in the reamer to make sure it landed in the middle and it wasn't off like on that, that angle before I put it in. So grub screw in. Tight as a bow and very, very straight, so I had no worries about 
uh, going off sideways when I was reaming out, I made the external of this very close to the finished diameter here, so it gave me the two points of contact when I was reaming, so I wasn't, again, like I said, going off at an angle. The finish on the inside of there is just, I was really surprised at how smooth it was. And you can see why when you see both of these here. So this is the swarf from when I was drilling. Okay, it's still very small and just it crunches up into nothing because I took my time. But you'll see the swarf left over from the reaming. It's just, it's dust. So it came out very well. When I was adjusting the reamer, like I said, I kept taking the flapper disc in the grinder and uh, chopping a bit off the end. I did notice that the diameter across the flats was different on each of these three sets of blades. And I noticed that when I seen the, the swarf in this groove here and the opposite one, but nothing in the, the other two. So a quick measurement, it showed that one of them was, or this one, was 0.1 of a millimetre bigger than the other two. So I think it's maybe just a machining error, but at the end of the day, it really did well. It's a cheap eBay re reamer. It did the job. Um, finished Canon now. That's us all finished for that. I think it turned out okay. It's my first attempt at a Canon. Uh, there's plenty of eBay videos there showing them. But uh, what I didn't want to do is concentrate too much on the machining aspects of it uh, because it's taken three and a half days to make this. I think what I've done is taken long enough on the video anyway. So would I do anything different? I don't think so. I think the only errors I made, apart from being self-taught in miller machines and uh, lathes, is when I was grinding all this out, I caught this edge ever so slightly but I polished most of that out but here it's turned out okay next job is make a trolley I've got a trolley to make out of a bit of oak that I just happened to have planed it down a bit just to make it so that'll be hopefully the next video so if you like this have a look for the trolley and uh, comment if you want if I could do anything better it might help someone else